With the opening of its proprietary charge connector, Tesla has just revealed some crazy information about the real power capacities of its charger. And frankly, my friends, they're absolutely mind blowing. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you guys and welcome back everyone else. If you're new to the channel, we do have a Patreon page. I'll put a link in the description below, but we also have a membership page and you get to see some of our videos, about seven videos per week, a few days in advance, around about three days in advance. So if you want to be a member, the link will be in the description below. And I do appreciate everyone's support from Patreon and our members. It's really, really good to have you. Basically, you keep this channel going. And so I really appreciate everything that you do. Tesla's new charger will have a 900 kilowatt output, which is just insane. I, I'm kind of shocked to hear this, to be honest. Now, obviously, you probably heard the news by now. Tesla has opened up its EV charge connector, suggesting that it could become the new standard in North America. I don't really think Tesla believes that that will happen. I mean, that ship has really sailed by now. The truth is, though, in North America, I mean, the majority of electric vehicles sold are Teslas. People don't realize this. How long will that go on for? Probably another couple of years. So realistically, whether this happens or not, I don't think that's all that relevant. People are getting there, getting all worked up over Tesla doing this. Is this a problem? Is this, this is blah, blah, blah. But I don't think it's really worth even worrying about that issue because the reality is there'll be plenty of charges for everyone. So we don't need to worry about that. What is of far more interest than that is Tesla's proprietary charge connector and its actual features and specifications. The one thing that is very obvious from looking at the documents on this is that the charger connector is capable of insane charging speed. Tesla describes two versions of its charging technology capable of operating at 500 volts and at 1000 volts. This is what Tesla says. Two interfaces are shown below a 500 volt configuration and 1000 volt configuration. The two interfaces are mechanically interoperable, meaning the 100 volt inlet can mechanically receive the 500 volt connector and the 500 volt inlet can receive the 1000 volt connector. So Electric says that the capacity to operate at 1000 volts is new information that wasn't known at all about Tesla's charging capacity before, other than for the upcoming megawatt charging for the Tesla semi truck. Now I'm sure you knew about that, but this isn't the megawatt charging. This is Tesla's current charging connector. In addition, Tesla said in the documents that it has been able to operate at over 900 amps. They said Tesla has successfully operated the North American charging standard above 900 amps continuously with a non-liquid cooled vehicle inlet. So if they can do this, which Tesla is saying they can, 900 amps at 1000 volts would mean that the chargers are capable of 900 kilowatt fast charging speeds. Of course, the car would have to be capable of handling that. I mean, this would probably damage a lot of battery packs and most cars wouldn't have the technology to be able to handle this kind of speed. But the point is, we'll get there one day. It will be possible at some point in the future. Imagine this, imagine 900 kilowatt fast charging. Imagine how fast you could charge your car. I mean, we're looking at charging speeds that would just be absolutely ludicrous. Now you're not gonna be able to charge at 900 kilowatt fast charging speed now, when this battery technology is capable of receiving this kind of charging input, you're not going to have to charge at that kind of speed for the whole charging cycle, but at least a percentage of it. You probably have to be able to charge a battery in less than 10 minutes from zero to 90%. That is, well, the future we have to look forward to. And frankly, it's just amazing. So this confirms what Tesla said. It said that its NACS standard is twice as powerful as CCS. With more than a decade of use and 20 billion EV charging miles to its name, the Tesla charging connector is the most proven in North America, offering AC charging and up to one megawatt DC charging in one slim package. It has no moving parts, is half the size, and twice as powerful as combined charging system CCS connectors. Basically, Tesla's charger is like light years ahead of the CCS chargers. That's just a fact. If you listen to what they're saying there, the cable thickness often determines the charging speed, but somehow Tesla has been able to make a thinner cable which can charge much faster than CCS. So I think the fact that Tesla actually has designed a cable with the potential to charge at this speed 
means that at some point in the near future, within the next three years, Tesla's vehicles could charge at say 800, maybe even 900 kilowatt fast charging. I have to say, Tesla wouldn't have designed the cable to be able to do this unless they plan on having electric vehicles that could actually take advantage of it. What's the point? What's the actual point in having this facility if your cars are never gonna be able to charge at their speed? So therefore, good chance, very likely, Tesla vehicles in the future, whether that's the near future or five years away, six years, at some point in the future, Tesla EVs will charge at up to 900 kilowatt fast charging speed. And remember, battery pack designs efficiency and safety are getting better and better and the longevity of batteries is improving constantly. So I think that Tesla would be planning on designing a battery pack that could charge at these kinds of speeds without damaging the battery pack as well. This does imply one other thing. It's possible the Tesla Cybertruck could have 800 volt fast charging because clearly this cable is capable of 800 volts. So will the Tesla Cybertruck have that kind of fast charging? You know what? It would make a lot of sense because the batteries in the Cybertruck are going to be really big. Fast charging speeds would need to be better in order for that battery to, to charge at a similar rate to say a Tesla Model S or Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. I think there's a good chance the Cybertruck could have 800 volt capacity and therefore maybe 350 kilowatt charging speed on those vehicles. Maybe as well, the Tesla Model 2. Realistically, you have to say, Tesla's done one thing that no one else has done. They've future-proofed their charging technology. I don't believe anyone else has chargers capable of what Tesla's chargers are capable of. And that is the kind of long-term thinking that I think Elon Musk is well known for. A lot of people say they get distracted by the Twitter stuff. They send him an email saying, I should be making videos about Elon Musk and how he's an asshole, and he's a crazy person, and he's all this stuff. Guys, come on, calm down. I'm not in this job here to make personal attacks on people. I'm in this job to critique and to point out the good things and the bad things that electric vehicle companies are doing. This is actually a really good thing. And you can see why Aptera, who are the makers of the EV that I pre-ordered, have decided to use Tesla's charging technology. It's the best, hands down. I don't think it's even a close competition. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.